Hey there, EJ here. Time to put your curiosity caps on and get ready to dive into some science. Let's kick off today's lesson with a few questions, shall we? Would you rather eat a chocolate bar or carrot sticks? Gummy bears or apple slices? A handful of Skittles or a handful of grapes? The truth is, candy is a tasty treat and people love it. Most kids would choose candy over fruits and veggies any day, right? Are you one of them? If so, you're not alone. Over the past few decades, people have consumed more and more sugar on a daily basis. Sugar is a type of carbohydrate that adds sweetness to food and drinks, like candy and soda. There are many different forms of sugar, from white sugar and brown sugar to honey and corn syrup. There's artificial and refined sugar, and the naturally occurring sugar like those found in fruits and veggies. It's the drastic increase in the consumption of artificial and added sugar that is causing concern from doctors, dentists, and health experts worldwide. The truth is, many people are eating far more than the daily recommended amount of sugar. One culprit? Sweet treats like candy. Candy is pretty much made out of sugar. Sure, there are some other ingredients in the mix, but most full-size candies come close to, if not exceed, the daily recommended amount of sugar intake alone. Even worse, there's no real nutritional value in the sweet treat. Doctors, dentists, and health experts have been doing a lot of work understanding why sugary snacks like candy are so bad for our health in the first place. How could something that tastes so good be so bad for us? Because unfortunately, it is bad for us. But first, let's take a blast to the past to understanding our long history with candy, shall we? Hold on tight, we're jumping back in time. While the origins of candy trace back to ancient Egyptians mixing fruit and nuts with honey as a special sweet treat, the candy we know today didn't exist until much later. Once sugar became more readily available, companies saw an opportunity. In the mid 1700s, the first chocolate factory was built in America. A century later, there were hundreds of different types of candy factories established around the country, producing everything from chocolate bars to hard candy treats. Soon after, the candy industry was booming with holidays becoming an easy way to market the sales of these deliciously sweet treats. The Halloween favorite, candy corn, came to shelves in 1880, and the first official lollipop was invented in 1908. Today, we have Twizzlers and Skittles, Fun Dip and Gobstoppers, and everything in between. But what does this candy boom mean for our bodies? As it turns out, a lot of not-so-great things. Long-term studies have shown that with an increase in sugar consumption comes the rise in health concerns like diabetes, obesity, and heart disease. But why? How does something like candy lead to negative health? It all comes back to, you guessed it, sugar. But here's the tricky part. When it comes to spotting sugar on a list of ingredients, it's not so easy. There are over 30 different names used in food packaging that are just another way of saying sugar. But regardless of what it's called, when it comes to science and the impact sugar has on our bodies, it's all the same. So what's the deal with sugar, you ask? Sugar is a carbohydrate that our body breaks down to produce energy. When you eat any source of sugar, like candy, the sugar is absorbed into the bloodstream in its simplest form, glucose. The glucose then spreads throughout the body via the bloodstream, helping your body's cells, muscles, and organs create energy. While you might be thinking that there's no such thing as too much candy and sugar, your body would say otherwise. Here's why. Once glucose enters the bloodstream, it triggers the pancreas to start producing a hormone called insulin. Insulin helps the body use glucose and convert it into energy 
by regulating blood sugar and maintaining proper functions. Since this insulin converts glucose into energy, it's responsible for that sugar rush you might experience after eating a lot of candy or sweet treats in a short amount of time. And while it might seem like the sugar is giving you energy, it doesn't last long. Eventually, we experience what we call a sugar crash. Here's what's actually happening when we consume diets high in sugar, like those including a lot of candy. Our cells can only produce so much energy, no matter how much glucose we have in our bodies. Once our cells have absorbed enough insulin, they won't take any more. So what happens to the remaining insulin from all those glucose? Simply put, it gets stored away in muscles and liver as glycogen, a fancy name for these stored carbohydrates. Like our cells, our muscles and organs can only store so much energy in the form of glucose. So what happens if there's still some leftover? The remaining glucose attaches itself to fat cells, which have a lot more room to store glucose, and this increases the amount of unhealthy fat in the body. So continued increased glucose consumption leads to increased blood sugar, which leads to a sugar rush, followed by a sugar crash in the short term, but increased body fat in the long term. While the short term effects of a sugar crash are unfavorable as well, because no one likes to be tired, sluggish, and cranky, the long term impacts are much more worrisome. The long term impacts can lead to some pretty serious health issues like insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is when your body resists the insulin hormone. This leads to an increase in blood sugar and leaves you feeling tired and hungry in the wake of a repeated cycle of sugar rush and sugar crash. To solve this problem, most people reach for, you guessed it, more sugary foods. The cycle continues over and over again. The worst part is, is that it's becoming more and more common and people don't even realize it. They just continue to reach for convenient and often unhealthy and high in sugar snacks like candy. The result? Increased fat buildup in the body. Over time, the excess fat that is floating around with nowhere to go can clog up your bloodstreams and organs. You might start off noticing a little brain fog and feeling a little tired, but these clogs can lead to a lot of different, more serious health problems from diabetes to heart disease. It can lead to health risks such as stroke or heart attacks. More risk factors include high blood pressure and obesity. And that's not all. Eating excess amounts of candy lead to other negative consequences, like tooth decay. If cavities and fillings make your mouth hurt just thinking about them, you might want to watch how much candy you eat. The bacteria found in our mouths love candy. The problem? As they break down the leftover parts of sweet treats that stick to our teeth for longer than 20 minutes. While bacteria is enjoying the leftover candy, they produce an acid that can break down the protective enamel or barriers on your teeth. The result? Cavities and not so fun trips to the dentist. So why not just stop eating so much candy and other high sugar foods? Well, that's another problem. It turns out that high sugar consumption is a hard habit to break. Did you know that sugar is addictive? It's true. The more you eat high sugar foods like candy, the more you want sugary foods like candy. And it's not just about taste. Simply thinking about eating a sweet candy treat makes us literally feel good. How? By triggering the release of dopamine, a neurotransmitter that's responsible for feelings of happiness and pleasure. So if you get happy by the mere idea of snacking on a piece of candy, you're not crazy. It's actually scientifically proven to be a thing. And eating candy literally makes you feel good too, thanks to this release of dopamine. Are artificial sweeteners and sugar-free candies the solution? Not quite. For example, high fructose corn syrup is a cheap alternative to real sugar, and it makes candy taste just as sweet and delicious. The problem? Although it isn't called sugar, it is just as bad, if not worse, for you. It turns out there are a lot of unhealthy sweeteners that might make you think what you're eating is healthier. Sweeteners like aspartame, sucralose, and saccharin 
are artificial sweeteners that are sometimes found in healthier candies and treats. The truth is, they have zero nutritional value. So in terms of health, they really aren't adding any benefit to your diet either. Even candy labeled as sugar-free is a trap. People see sugar-free and think healthier, but that's simply not the case. Candy is candy and doesn't have any nutritional value. In fact, what it does have is high amounts of fats and carbohydrates that we simply don't need. So don't fall for any of those advertising tricks. And as it turns out, it's not just candy that we need to watch out for. Nowadays, there's a lot of sugar found in pretty much everything. Watch out for excess sugars hidden in foods like cereals, granola bars, and other pre-packaged and processed foods. One of the worst kinds of sugars is refined sugars, or sugar that has been processed from its natural plant state to extract the pure sugar contents. Refined sugar, like that found in candy and processed foods, has been scientifically linked to negative health factors like triggering arthritis, increasing stress, feelings of depression, heightening allergies, and even causing tooth decay. Wow, that's a wide variety of issues caused by one ingredient. That's why the best course of action is to pay attention to how much sugar foods and drinks, especially foods that are primarily refined sugar like candy that we consume on a daily basis. Now, eating some candy here and there for a special occasion or overindulging on sweet treats once a year on Halloween is not going to cause these conditions. But continuously consuming high amounts of sugar found in foods like candy or drinks like juices, flavored waters, and soda can increase your risk of these health concerns. So do you need to say bye-bye to candy forever? Not exactly. Hey, I love a good piece of chocolate or celebratory cupcake at a birthday party. An extra piece of candy or two on Halloween? Yes, please. However, it's important that these sweetened treats are enjoyed in moderation or not excessively. Remember, continuously feeding our bodies with unhealthy and high sugar options day after day, that's when the problem arises. And it's a lot easier to fall into this trap than you may think. Remember, sugar is highly addictive. That means candy is highly addictive, but we need to be proactive in protecting our long-term health. So instead of always grabbing that candy bar, try satisfying your sweet tooth with a more natural and more nutritious source of sweetness. There's a lot of naturally sweet options you can choose that are much better for your health. Some of my favorite healthy combinations are apple slices with nut butter, unsweetened dried fruit, fresh cut carrot sticks, fruit salad, and even frozen grapes. The last one is literally like little popsicle bites. So yummy. So what are some healthy snack alternatives you like? I challenge you to reach for those healthier options more often and save that candy splurge for holidays and special occasions. It will make it that much more special and tasty too. Well, that's all we have time for today. As always, thanks for tuning in, and until next time, stay healthy and stay curious, my friend. We are thrilled that you're watching Blue Studios 24-7. We're so excited to bring round-the-clock entertainment and educational content to your home. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest videos. At Blue Studios, we aspire to revolutionize the way families spend time together. We empower families by providing them with tools to work together, earn and learn, and achieve new heights of success. Visit www.bluestudios.io to discover more about our mission and how we empower families to succeed. Thank you so much for being part of our community. Keep watching and learning with us. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.